All right, here we are with all of the basic soft plastic riggings for bass. I'm gonna show you the differences between the Texas rig and the drop shot and the shaky head and the wacky worm and the Neko rig and the Ned rig. Uh, we're gonna kind of show you all of them right here, all the basic ones. We're not gonna get into Carolina rig and uh, you know some of the fancier, newer ones, but I'm gonna show you all of the basic rigs. And we're, we're gonna start with the Texas rig it's kind of where it all started with soft plastic worms. And just so you can see it without a bait on there, that's basically the Texas rig right there. It's gonna have kind of a bullet shaped weight above it. it. Could be tungsten or lead, whatever. Then you're gonna have a hook below it to where you can rig it straight and keep the bait um, nice and, and weedless. Uh, sometimes you can put one of these little rubber bobber stops in front to keep your weight from sliding up. Uh, I would recommend that anytime you're fishing around heavier cover, brush piles, uh, grass, and things like that. So just to kind of show you what you're going to do, you're going to start right here at the point of whatever worm creature bait that you're going to put on there. Start just like that. Go down about a quarter of an inch. Pull it through just like that. Then you're going to slide it all the way up so that it kind of sits straight just like that and then you're going to measure it you can see where that that sits then you're going to kind of get your worm and everything sh as straight as possible so you get that thing kind of straight as you can this is not that's not the perfect straight i just want to show you quickly uh, but then you want to make sure that you can you can feel that hook point through the worm. So I'm gonna adjust it a little bit now. It's kind of straight there. So you're gonna be trying to get that as straight. That's a the a straight Texas rigged worm. You can use offset shank worm hook. Um, you can use this Gamakatsu hybrid worm hook that I've got here. But uh, any kind of EWG style hook works very well. But that's the Texas rig. You can use that to cast. You can use it to flip and pitch. Um, it's basically the original um, way to, to fish a, a soft plastic worm. Uh, came about back in the day, fishing down there on Toledo Bend and those type places uh, to where you wanted to be able to throw a rubber worm into thicker cover and not get it hung up. That was the that was the deal. You could you could definitely put you know, a little craw bait like that craw father on there if you wanted to. Uh, but that's the Texas rig worm. To build off of the Texas rig, uh, we're going to jump over to Drop Shot, something that came over from Japan, oh, probably 20 some years ago uh, now. But basically, you can take that Texas, that same, uh, you know, same style worm, Texas rig it, but then you're going to take your tag in, like this is the after you tie up your hook, you're gonna take the excess, put it back through the hook eye, then you're gonna tie some sort of weight on the bottom. That's an eighth ounce weight. It's a good place to start. Anywhere from an eighth to a quarter, really good general drop shotting weights. But this is a Texas rigged drop shot. So you're gonna you know, drop shot, you can drop shot and throw that thing around any kind of cover, shallow laydowns. Um, you know, all kind of different, you know, grass, uh, light brush, things like that. You can throw that Texas rig drop shot in there. And you can also drop shot uh, what they call a nose hook. You're going to take a little hook like that guy right there. And then there's two different ways to nose hook. Either you can do what I call hang it, hang it on there. You can hang that drop shot bait on there. And as you can see, it just went straight through the head of the worm. And that's gonna give the worm the full ability to undulate underwater the most amount of action. Or you can do what I call going through the throat and kind of rigging it on there. That's what I really like that. It helps reduce your line twist as long as you get that thing straight uh, and then when you, the hook point is exposed so that when you get one to bite it and you lean into them, 
that worm's just gonna slide right on down the hook and, you, and you're gonna have them. That's been around for a number of years. Um, I know, my, yeah, I was one of the first people to that I saw do it, Van Dam, Aaron Martins, I saw him doing this on some baits uh, early on. So uh, that's that's been around for a long time, very, very proven way to do it. It's nothing secretive or new, um, but that's, that's a good way to nose hook your drop shot bait, same deal, taking your tag in, putting it back through that hook eye uh, so that your bait will stand straight out from the hook there. So that's the, that's the basics on the drop shot. Next, we're gonna move over to a wacky worm. Wacky worm is when you take a, a hook and hook it basically through the middle of the worm. That's a little cross, a VMC crossover ring. Uh, you can do that on uh, your thicker style baits, like this is a 48 uh, or you know Cinco, any of those kind of baits, you can put that little ring on there and then you can catch a whole bunch of fish and not uh, not lose your bait or, or hope, you know tear it up, anything like that. Uh, but that's, that's the way you whack your rig. You hook it right in the middle and you're gonna be throwing that out. Let that bait sink. You can give a little short jerks of the worm, uh, of the bait, and you're gonna collapse that worm underwater and then it's gonna straighten back out. It's gonna collapse, straighten back out, collapse, straighten back out. That thing is bad to the bone that uh that wacky rig really really good in ponds or whenever the fish are real shallow uh that's that's a great way to do it so the the wacky worm if you want to be around cover uh sometimes you can get a hook with a little weed guard on it like that that's a gamakatsu g finesse uh stinger hook with the weed guard on it really good for wacky rigging around cover a lot of times you're shallow you're going to be throwing around you know cypress trees or uh, any kind of grass like that and the the hook will get hung up it would get caught up so that's what you're going to use uh, a little hook that's got a little weed guard on it like that i've caught a zillion fish on that very very proven very good hook uh, for that but the deeper version basically of a wacky rig is called the neko rig or nico rig you can call it whatever you want to but that's a bad dude right there and so all you're going to be doing is basically wacky rigging a worm, but then you're going to put a weight in the nose. You can put anywhere from a, a 132nd ounce weight all the way up to a 3 16th. Um, probably a 16th is what I would fish the most. Maybe an 8th and a 16th, probably the most. Fishing real shallow water, maybe a 132nd. Fishing a little deeper, 20, 30 feet of water, it might jump up to a 3 16th. But that's, that's basically how it is. You, it, so it's, you know, the, the bait's gonna fall down like that. Then when you pull it, it's gonna look like a wacky rig on the bottom. Neko means cat, that's what I was told in Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. I'm just uh, telling you what I've, what I've been told. Uh, so it looked like a cat on the bottom. It's kind of, kind of the rig. Uh, also another a rig that came from Japan but that, that Nico rig or Neko rig, uh, Neko is the proper Japanese pronunciation as I'm, as I'm told, but that's a, that's a missile baits quiver worm designed for Neko rig and for a Tokyo rig. So let's get into the Tokyo rig. Uh, this is another one that came from Japan called the cherry rig over there, but it became known as the Tokyo rig because that's kind of where it came from. So it's got a swivel on the top, a round ring, with an EWG style hook. They have other versions now, but, and then a, a long piece of metal, and then you've got the, where you can put weights on the bottom. So this is the, it's like a little shorty short, heavy duty drop shot, uh, basically. But you can take in, because the hook is independent, the hook freely swings on that rig there. It freely swings on there. You can, you can pitch it and flip it on, you know, let's say 20 pound test, and you're not gonna affect the action of that bait. That's the, the real key to the Tokyo rig, in my opinion, because if you're, you're Texas rigging or you're drop shotting, your line is gonna be tied directly to the hook that you're gonna be fishing. So when you have that, um, that extra piece in there, to where the hook can freely swing, you can fish heavier line and it's not gonna uh, prohibit this hook from freely swinging and having that action that you want. 
So that, that's the real advantage of Tokyo Rig. Really, really good around heavy cover, really good around grass. And uh, I don't like it around cypress trees. Anytime I wanna keep the bait a little bit off the bottom and give it a horizontal presentation, presentation versus uh, you know that Texas rig being more vertical and then it scoots and then it's vertical. That Tokyo rig stays horizontal like a natural bait fish swimming uh, type type action. So that's the Tokyo rig. Good good bait. BMC makes uh, makes one. Gamakatsu makes a uh, really good one as well. But the uh, then we're gonna move over to what we call the shaky head. This is a modern version of the shaky head. So warlock head. Uh, it's got a screw lock on it. They have other versions where you just slide the worm up on the hook. This is a fairly weedless presentation. Uh, it's not it's not a Texas rig, um, but it it stands up off the bottom. You can skip it really well. There's nothing so like on on the Texas rig. The weight can separate from the bait. So if you bang it on something, maybe the weight gets separated. Uh, it it kind of has it one type of action. Shaky head, that that weight is fixed. Like there's nothing, that's not moving. Uh, that is gonna be staying right in front of your worm. So when you're dragging that worm across the bottom, there's nothing to be moving, nothing to be uh, bouncing around. I've caught a zillion fish on a shaky head. Shaky head really, really exceeds where there's very little cover. Uh, so lakes... La uh, bigger lakes with no grass, gravel, a lot of gravelly type banks, maybe even some hard clay, uh, some, even some rocky areas. Shaky head is just bad, bad news on them. Uh, catch a ton of fish. The big deal with the shaky head is that it's a spinning rod technique generally, uh, but you're going to be throwing it, letting the bait get to the bottom, and then you're going to be essentially dragging it, and then on a slack line, You'll just kind of shake your rod a little bit, then you reel up your slack and then just drag it again. The majority of your bites are going to be coming either on the fall or as that bait is getting slid across the bottom. So that's why you want to drag it real slow and you can feel that bait just tick, 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 bounce across that hard bottom and then they're going to, they're going to feel nothing or you're going to feel a big hard tap and then it's just going to be real heavy with that fish swimming out. Uh, that is the shaky head. Great, great technique last but not least uh this is the ned rig and basically a ned rig is just a little ball head jig um that with a little small short bait on it it's a little ned bomb on there but the ned rig is something that came about into prominence uh, a handful of years back they call it the midwest finesse rig as well if you're uh, googling for more information looking for other videos specifically on the ned rig or midwest finesse rig and basically what you're going to do with this is this is not an extension of a shaky head. This bait, bait is to, meant to be fished off the bottom. So you're going to be throwing that bait out there. You have a lighter jig head, 16th, maybe an eighth at most as far as weight goes. Make a long cast sp spinning rod usually uh, or BFS and you could throw, throw out there and you're going to kind of keep your line semi-tight as that bait's coming back to the bottom and as it's going to the bottom, it's going to be just slowly drifting and doing this number right here. That's, that's really the key to the Ned rig. And then when that bait gets to the bottom, you're just going to reel down the slack, lift up, and then just let it glide back to you again. So you're going to lift that bait up off the bottom and then just kind of let it glide back to you again. It's not going to go, it's not going to shoot straight to the bottom. It's just going to kind of glide back to you. And that's when those bites are really going to occur. So there's the basic uh, soft plastic riggings. Hope that helps you differentiate between Neko rig, shaky head, drop shot, Texas rig. <laughs> there's a lot of different ways, and there's many more than we had on here, like I was talking about earlier, the Carolina rig and others. So uh, just be sure to, to comment down there if you have anything you want to add to this. Uh, if you want to see any more additional videos, uh, let me know, and we'll be glad to show you those as well. But as always, thank you guys for watching.